And down here in Choose, you can pick a game to play. You could have multiple games running at the same time. I believe Game Center is currently limiting you to up to 30 games at a time, which is probably enough. So I have, I can pick a game I want to play, I can check on the games that I'm waiting on someone else to move. If I know these people, I might be able to nudge them with out-of-band channels like chat or email. And it also lists all the games that are over. Uh, this one looks like it was resigned early. If, it, if the game had been completed, it would show you uh, that it was an access victory and how many victory points. So if I decide I am losing really badly and, and don't want to keep playing a game, I can swipe to quit, and I would have to tap again to confirm it. I really don't want to quit in the middle of a game with David. It's often kind of rude to do that, especially when it's so early in the game. I can also delete one of these completed games the same way, simply by swiping, and remove the game from my saved list. These little triangles here also let me uh, quit the game explicitly, if I forget the swipe gesture, tells me when the game was started, and that's kind of important in some cases so you can remember which game it is, is this the game I just began or an older game. That's one reason we also tell you what, what the game time is, this one is still early on the first day of the game, so it's, it's not a game I've been playing a long time in terms of number of turns. I can also quit here, I'll get a confirmation, but again, it's generally a better idea to let someone have the joy of winning instead of resigning.